Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great little video for you today. We've got a simple mouse over hover and scale effect. We've got some blurb modules here. When you hover over one of them, it's going to grow and scale up and the background's going to change and it's going to get a bit of box shadow. Nice little effect to have on your desktop website. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'm going to add a new row. Little green button to add a new row here. I'm going to put three columns in mine. Obviously you put as many or as few as you want in yours. Once we put our row in, Divi's going to prompt us to put in a module. Divi comes with all these light gray modules as standard, plenty enough to build just about any site. Dark blue ones there are from a free plugin called Divi Supreme Light. We've done videos on that before. And here are some more from the Divi theme itself. Also with Divi, if you're got WooCommerce installed and selling products, it'll give you an extra dozen of these modules to help display your products. I'm going to use a blurb module for this today. You can use any module you want for this, it'll work with just about anything. I'm going to use the blurb module purely because that's what I used before. Okay, and it's popped it in there for us. By default it puts a placeholder image in, a title and a bit of content. Let's just roll this up a bit. Okay. Well, obviously you want to put your title in there, whatever it is you want to say. We've got a regular text field down here where you can add or remove text. You can align, justify, bold, italicize, make lists, add media if you want to, and of course add titles. This is just a regular text box right here. Just down below we've got image and icon. Here's where you can decide whether you use an icon or an image. I'm going to flip the little switch to use an icon. If you want to use an image, simply click this to add your image. But I want to use an icon. As we mentioned recently, Divi's teamed up with Font Awesome 4, so there's plenty of icons to choose from. I'm going to use something with a back fill on it, but obviously you can use whatever you want to use. And you can do a search up there, or you can hit this little breakout button out here and it'll pop out into a breakout box and you can just scroll and look. But there's plenty of them there, so you'll be scrolling for a while. Okay, well I've got my icon, we've got the title and the text there. Next down, we've got the link. Now if you want this module to link somewhere, you can put a link in right here. And anywhere that they click on this module will take them to whatever link that you've added there. If you want just the title to link to something, you can put a link in there, or you can have both linking to different pages or the same page if you prefer. Always best practice though, if you're linking to your own website, keep it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's website or going off of your website, open it in the new tab. That way your site will stay open. Okay. Well down below we've got background here. I'm actually going to put a background color in. At first I don't want any background. So let's find a color that I kind of like. I'm going to go with a sort of very light grey colour, something like this. That's fine. But I don't actually want to see any colour until we hover over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the colour itself and pull the opacity slider all the way down. And you may be asking, well, what's the point of putting in a colour if you're going to have it invisible? Well, you're going to go from this invisible colour to the full grey when we actually hover over it. That way it gives it something to go from. Great. Okay, well, I want to give my little icon perhaps a different color. And I want to center align my text here and give it a bit of space so that when we put that background back in, if we look at it now with the background, it's all pushed up against the sides. So I'm going to give it some padding, which will give it some space all around. So to do that, I'll come back and take that background away in a moment. Let's go to our design. I'm going to go down to spacing and here we'll find margin and padding. 
Margin is going to push this module up, down, left and right. Padding is actually going to add space between the border and the interior elements such as the icon and the text there. So I'm going to give it 25 pixels padding all around. Simply put in the 25, it'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. As you can see, we've got 25 top and bottom there. And I'll do the same for left and right. If you want to add a border, you can do so right there. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. If you want to add some box shadow, you can do so below here. I'm actually going to add some box shadow. And I'm going to use this one right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll down. And I'm going to have it invisible, a bit like our background here, until we actually roll over it. So let's start setting our hover states now. So the box shadow, you can see it there. When we're not hovering over it, I don't want to see it at all. So what I'm going to do, and this is common to all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. Hover over the one you want to affect, in our case, the shadow color here. If you see a little arrow, we can click on it. And we've got a desktop state when the mouse is not on it, we can set one value for. So for the desktop state, I want it to be transparent. So you can't see it, it's gone. When we hover over it, hover state, little arrow right here, I want it to be dark. Not quite as dark as that, so I'm going to click on the color. Here's the color field and the variegated slider for opacity. I'm going to roll that down till it's about how I want it. Maybe about 50%, something like that. Great. So when we hover over it, we've got that little shadow. When we don't, it's not there. Now let's do the same thing for that background because I don't want that background in there at all until we hover over it. So if we go back to our content, back down to background, we can do exactly the same thing. Hover up over, here's the little arrow. Desktop state, well I'm going to take the opacity back all the way down so we don't see that at all. For the hover state, I'm going to bring it back up. So we've got the gray. So we've got the gray background and the box shadow when we hover, and no background and no box shadow when we don't. Great, so we're getting there. Now I want to make it grow a little bit so it stands out a bit more when we hover over it. I'm also going to align this text to the middle and perhaps give that icon a different color. So back in our design tab, here's the image and icon. I'm going to select a different color for that. We used blue before, I'm going to use purple just to mix it up. <laughs> and let's go down to our text down below. There's the text. This will do all of the text, both the heading and the body text there. I just want to align it to the middle. You can decide whether to have it dark or light and add text shadow. If you want to, you can do separate for title text. Well, let's just bold this up and make it uppercase there. You can do separate title and body text here. And as with all things Divi, if you've not seen my videos before, Divi comes with an absolutely phenomenal amount of fonts. It really does. And to audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example of it. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. But like I say, you're never short of a font with Divi, that's for sure. Okay. Well, we've pretty much got everything that I want here. By default, Divi's going to change from regular state to hover state when your mouse goes over it. It's going to take it 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. If you want to slow it down or even speed it up, you can do that by going over to Advanced, down to Transitions. There's the default 300 mils. Just slide it up if you want to slow it down, or slide it down if you want to speed it up. Yeah, mine maybe about half a second, something like that. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as the mouse hits it. Transition speed curve, ease is fine. A lot of time for my hover effects, I'll use ease in, ease out. These are all subtly different. Some will work better than others in certain situations. But today I'm gonna to use the ease in, ease out. Okay. Well, once you're happy with this, I'm gonna do one more thing. Because if I, let's just duplicate this so I can show you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to hit the two little squares to just duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it twice. I'm going to drag one over. It doesn't matter which one because they're all identical, these duplicates here. So I've got one in each row. Now it's fairly unlikely that your blur module is going to have the same amount of text in each one. And just to make it look good, you want them all to appear the same height, or at least I do. So to do that, I'm going to give it a fixed height. So if we go in here, design, I'm going to go down to sizing, I'm going to go down to height. I'm going to give mine, I think 375 or 370 is what I used before. You may see these go up slightly or down slightly if we've pushed it bigger than the default module. So I'm going to say 370. That's about right. If I put 375 in there, the bottom ones all drop down a little bit, but I think 370 is about right. Okay. So that's got a fixed height now. Now, rather than go into each of these and do that, what I can do is save this. Right click on this little module here. I'm going to say extend blurb styles. I'm going to say to this particular row. So now all of these are going to be 370 pixels tall. So I can go into this next one. We can change out the icon and obviously you'd have different text in there. So let's cut out some of this text perhaps. And we'll change out the icon for something different. It really doesn't matter what. And we'll do the same for this one. And they'll all have the same height when we roll over with the green gray background. So let's and we'll go in a little bit less text on this one. And we'll quickly change that icon out. Again, something with a fill. There we go, that's fine. Okay. Well, we've got three little blurb modules with different icons and different titles now. Let's save our changes and see how this hover effect's going to work on the front end. Hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish, or save if you've already published the page. Let's exit the visual builder. And we'll go on down. There's our little purple blurb modules. When I hover over, there's our gray color. And as you can see, they're all exactly the same size. Now just to finish off, I'm gonna go back in there. And when we hover over them, I'm gonna have them scale up in size just a little bit. So again, let's enable the visual builder. Once enabled, we'll go on down. And again, I'm just going to go into one of these. I'm going to go over to Design. Right at the bottom of Design, you're going to find Transform. And we've got some little blocks up here. The first one, Scale, which is the one we're going to use today. You've got Transform Scale. You've got Translate, which means Move. You've got Rotate. You've got Skew. And you've got Transform Origin, which will transform the point at which it rotates around. Scale is the one I want to use today, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to roll up over the dark riding, going to get the little arrow. Desktop state, want it to be regular size. When we hover over it, I'm going to have it grow to maybe 110%, 115%. Now, if you've got this little chain highlighted like it is at the moment, it'll do both sides for you. And you can either slide up and down with a slider, type in a value, or you can increment up and down with the little arrows to the side. So we've got 115. So when we hover over it, it's going to grow now to about 115% of the size. And again, let's save this and we'll extend this to the rest of our modules here. We just want to extend it to this row. Extend. Great, we should be good to go. Let's hit our little purple button, save our changes, and exit the visual builder. Okay, let's go down. There's our little purple blurb modules. When I hover over now, they're gonna grow, pop out, have the box shadow, and the background's gonna change color. And that's gonna happen 
over a half second period right there. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. People are mousing around and this sort of thing happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Of course, this is going to work best on your desktop computer. And you can hide and show sections on desktop, tablet and mobile as needed with the Divi theme. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.